your slide is sticking out. Your back slide is sticking out about that far. It is, isn't it? Oh, even photographs. Yeah. Okay, we're uh, taking off to Yuma this morning. We'll go down there and kind of check the place out, and look at some campgrounds maybe to see if we want to go down there next year. Since it seems to be about four or five, six degrees warmer down there than it is up here in Quartzsite. But uh, check that out. We may uh, check out some uh, sights to see down there and just generally get in trouble. Down the road we go. Here we go. Bikes for ten dollars an hour or twenty-five bucks a day. This is on National Register. Morning. Morning. This used to be a what you say it was a garrison, an army garrison and supply depot for the area uh, back in the 1800s. They were saying that the river, the Colorado River, then was 25 feet higher, 25 feet higher than it is now, and uh, they would have boats pull up to this garrison and then load the supplies and then distribute them from there. It's pretty interesting. Oh, it's set up like, you know, they would have campfires out there and some of the equipment they used. And the stuff to cook over a fire. Old buckboards. Huh. It's really a beautiful area, all that grass. Dams of the Colorado River. I think it. when you're digging some of the first canals for uh, irrigation stuff around here. Huh. It's a beautiful place. The buildings are pretty old. But their main focus is on, you know, the water preservation. I guess Colorado River doesn't even go all the way down to the Gulf of California anymore. They are basically Yuma takes the last sip. It's grapefruit.
creosote bush. Those things burn like like a can of paint. That's why the fires are so bad out west. When they have fires, you get these. Smell them. You get down there and smell it. They smell like nothing. Huh? Yeah, it smells like crystal. Yeah, it does, isn't it? A little bit. Huh. It's kind of, it's kind of neat. Oh, there's a huge pole there with a pulley up on top. I'll bet you that they would, you know, bucket stuff out of there or something. This is just off a of downtown, the old town. Yuma. So we're going to go from here and go look at, uh, see what's going on in Old Town. They said they got some old buildings down there, an old casino. And it's got places to eat in it, so we'll be checking that out. But she was saying that all these buildings were the, some of the oldest preserved buildings in, in Yuma. Huh? Oh, cool. Get the glare. Yeah, there's a big car yeah, see? They would come right up. There's that building right there. Yeah, that blockhouse like. Isn't that wild? Stern wheelers would just pull right up and unload the cargo. Hopefully this turns out because there's you know it's behind glass and there's a lot of glare, but and here's your military supply routes for the Southwest. The military reservation at Fort Yuma, California. So it was California in those days. Board. Oh, cool. I guess this shows the all the dams up and down the Colorado River when they were built. Southern Pacific Railroad. Let's see what it says here. Mojave Steamboat Pilot House Wheel. I'll let you pause and read that. That's a big whistle too. The big theme of this place seems to be water preservation and how it's kind of gone to waste over the years. And now, everybody's paying the price. Which is good. But, you know, you need water. There's got to be water to irrigate the crops so that everybody can eat. I guess there just has to be a better balance of use and it coming down here. Okay, everybody, that was the Yuma Information Center. It's near uh, the, uh, the old downtown of Yuma. Very interesting, and if you ever get near there, you need to stop in and take a look. Uh, the people are very friendly. Uh, there's a lot of old buildings. It's an old army fort. Really interesting about the, how the water uh, comes down to Yuma on the Colorado River and what happens to it. So you need to stop in there and take a look if you get a chance. So the, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and go down to down, old downtown and check it out and go into the territorial prison in Yuma. So we'll see you then, guys. Down the road we go.